Good Saturday morning. It's early in the morning, it's still a little dark outside. So I'm up, I'm having my coffee. So I know in the last couple of weeks, I've been making videos, kind of pushing videos on the stock market and you know my plays and what I've been doing. And again, I'm not giving anybody advice to go out and buy and stocks and stuff. I'm just telling you what I'm doing. And so far, what I'm doing look like it's working. To be honest with you, I'm not one of those guys that are gonna be like, you're gonna go to the moon and all that kind of stuff. What I've realized in the stock market and also in crypto is that in crypto, you have to get in really early. Like for example, Bitcoin, you have to get in really early in Bitcoin to really make money um, on there, which is, and you have to get in early and buy enough, a lot. If you had gotten early and buy one Bitcoin, you wouldn't be a millionaire right now. If you had gotten early and buy a hundred or 2,000 2, Bitcoins, yeah. So it's the same thing like the stock market, right? If you're going to invest, um, for those of us who like me, little investors, I know I'm not going to make millions of dollars on any kind of stock. Like say, for example, Tesla. I'm not going to I'm not going to become a millionaire on Tesla because I don't have enough money to invest. It's how much you put in, that's what you're going to get out. So for the last couple of weeks, I've been kind of pushing towards um, EV because I see that EV is making a comeback. The market is getting better. And yesterday, I was all pumped up. A friend of mine, we've been on WhatsApp from 7, from 8 o'clock in the morning when the, when the market opened, we were all WhatsApping each other, man, your Tesla is going to go up and blah, blah, blah. And because I bought some Tesla um, like about a, a few weeks ago, if you look at my videos. But anyway, my, my Tesla was going up. I even took some profit last night. While I was texting my friend at 8 o'clock in the morning, Lucid was like $9, $9.30. And then all of a sudden, Lucid just shot up. By about 12 o'clock, it was $15. By about um, 12.40, it was 15, almost $16. By about 12.50, it was $17. Um, there it started coming down. Somewhere along the line, I think it's right around, right around two o'clock, I think that's when somebody um, asked me, my brother-in-law asked me, hey, did you have you seen what happened to Lucid? Because he knew I was invested in um, EV market before the market crashed. And I'm like, no. And I check Lucid. I don't know why I forgot Lucid. By that time, Lucid was like about $13 or something like that. And I was like, oh, shoot. So I did go ahead and I put some money in Lucid really quick, thinking it would head back up. When I bought it, it was going up. I bought it at 1331 but I did put a stop on it so that if it dropped back down to 1331 I wouldn't lose nothing. And... Um, like a few minutes later, it just went back down. It, it's now 12, 12, um, 25. It's been, it's been hovering at, at 1225 right now. But yesterday that shit went up to almost, almost a hundred percent. We talk about 97%. So almost a hundred percent. It went up yesterday. So like I said a while ago, like if you invest in, in something like that to make, to become millionaires and make a big money out of that, you would have had to invest a lot of money, buy a lot of stock, and that you had that short period of time, a few hours, to put that money in down at, let's say, at 9.23, 9.23, and take it out because you know, you would have to be a, a psychic to know that it was gonna drop back down at $17. The next question is, what's going on with Lucid? Well, Lucid, um, and you can see this guy make some really, really impressive vehicles, guys. Um, they are giving, when it comes to design and, and the kind of cars they are making, luxury EVs, these guys are giving um, EV quite some nice cars to look at. And they're making some really, really, really good vehicles. But they don't have the money. They don't have the money to keep up with what Tesla is doing right now. So they, they are doing, the, they're kind of like, they are losing money right now. They're losing customers. They had a lot of people that sign up to buy cars which they couldn't produce and enough to give people the give people the, the car. They try to do a few discount, ten percent discount on new on customers who were waiting, but that didn't work. So they're losing money, and the market's been kind of messed up for for those kind of guys. So anyway, so the rumor was that the Saudis were gonna take over Lucid, buy the rest because they already own stocks in in Lucid. I think they own like sixty percent of the stocks in Lucid. So the plan was to buy off the rest of the shares and just take over Lucid and put some money in there. So that's the rumor that's going on. It's not been verified. So that caused that rise you see there. It's a kind of a rumor, you know, buy the rumor, that kind of stuff. Um, it's just a pity I wasn't on that train. It's something that you may sometimes you have those quick things happening, and 
it is what it is. All we can do right now is wait to see what's going to happen on Monday. I'm not even really psyched by um, by Lucid because, um, yeah, it's it's kind of excitement to do those things like that. But you have to be on this 24-7. You have to be watching um, your your phone or you have to be watching your the, the stock market and see what's going on. And you have to catch it on time. And sometimes I just don't have the time to do that stuff. So I rather deal with things like, like Tesla. Um, you see how Tesla has been kind of this kind of creeping up really good. So yesterday it went from almost 160 to almost like 178. Uh, so that's pretty impressive for a stock to do in one day. But I completely forgot to watch my Ameritrade and in there I do have some Lucid in there. I do have some Lucid stock in there and I'm actually up because I bought in on there probably like a while back. That's where I put all my long-term investment stocks in is in my in my um Ameritrade account. That's where I keep that's where I keep it. So I have some Lucid in there and some other companies in there. Because there was a while back then about that um, in 2021 when um EV was the thing that I was there before the, the crash. Um that I was um really invested a lot into companies like Neo and other companies like that. So I'm really going to have to take a look and see what my portfolio look like and really just clean it up and make sure that if money is to be made, I want to make some money. So guys, just to keep, just a quick Saturday morning coffee talk. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video.